Good morning. Coming together virtually to celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, we warmly welcome everyone. Just as the Israelites were freed from slavery to the Egyptians by the blood of the Lamb, we are freed from slavery to our disordered passions by the blood and body of God. Seated now in the upper room, we welcome the Holy Trinity, the saints, and the angels as we begin our banquet to prepare to be cleansed and strengthened by the word and sacrament. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge your sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Glory to God Amen. in the highest. And on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, when this wonderful sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion, grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with the God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. <clears throat> Moses came and told the people all the words of the Lord and all the ordinances. And all the people answered with one voice and said, all the words that the Lord has spoken, we will do. And Moses wrote down all the words of the Lord, 
He rose early in the morning and built an altar at the foot of the mountain and set up 12 pillars corresponding to the 12 tribes of Israel. He sent young men of the children of Israel who offered burnt offerings and sacrificed oxen as offerings of well-being to the Lord. Moses took half of the blood and put it in basins, and half of the blood he dashed against the altar. Then he took the book of the covenant and read it in the hearing of the people. And they said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do, and we will be obedient. Moses took the blood and dashed it on the people and said, see the blood of the covenant that the Lord has made with you in accordance with all these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came as a high priest of good things that have come, then through the, and the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of the goats and bulls, with the sprinkling of the ashes of the heifer, sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, Christ is the meditator of a new covenant so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. On the first day of unleavened bread, when the Passover lamb is sacrificed, the disciples said to Jesus, where do you want us to go and make the preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go into the city, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him, and wherever he enters, say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room, upstairs furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. So the disciples set out and went to the city and found everything as he had told them. And they prepared the Passover meal. While they were eating, he took a loaf of bread and after blessing it, he broke it. <clears throat> gave it to them and said, take, this is my body. <clears throat> then he took a cup, and after giving thanks, he gave it to them, and all of them drank from it. He said to them, this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Truly I tell you, I will never again drink of the fruit of the vine, Till that day, when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung the hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Covenant is an agreement between two parties or more. The blood covenant with Moses and the people and God was that God would guide them and provide if they followed him and believed. Jesus, at the Last Supper, before he was to shed his blood, gave his people a new covenant in his blood and offered his body and blood. But this would be different. He told them, whenever you do this, I will be sacrificed again. The body and blood of Christ will be present in the bread and wine. Not a token, not a memory, truly present. In Jesus' covenant, he would never leave us alone. We can come and truly receive him. Today's feast is not a memorial day, not an anniversary. When we receive the host, Jesus is truly here and with us. This is why it hurts not to be here in this way. We haven't been able to receive him. This is why we want to open as soon as we can. We are missing our Lord himself in this way. When we do have mass again, for everyone I'm sure we won't take it for granted again, what we do here. But of course Jesus knows this, and he comes to you every time you ask him in spiritual communion. Today, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus, into our souls until the day we can receive him again, the one body and blood of you, our Lord Jesus Christ, a body and blood that our world so desperately needs right now, Peace that only Jesus can give.
filled with a deep sense of gratitude and joy at the great gift given to us in the Eucharist, we approach our Heavenly Father with our requests. For the Church, many members, yet one body, that we may grow in unity and love as the body of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithful, that worthily receiving Holy Communion, they may help us become more like Christ, whose body and blood we receive, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Leon and Mary Lou Lim, who are celebrating <clears throat> their 50th wedding anniversary, may God continue to bless you and your family and friends and lead you all to unending happiness and peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the gift of peace that God will turn hearts from violence and further the dialogues between world leaders over issues that cause division. For all of our <clears throat> indigenous brothers and sisters who were hurt in the past and for peace and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, those who live with chronic pain and sickness and difficulty, for all those who have died, and for all those whose anniversaries we remember, especially Duane Suarez, Leo Braganza, Sme Soon Rassam, Irma Kazarin, Angel Papa, Carmen Butcher, Natalie Carmela Haran, and Rosa and Hubert Henkel, and for the prayers deepest in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Good and gracious God, hear the prayers of your people. Satisfy the longing in our hearts. Be the object of our desire and bless us with the knowledge of your lasting love for us. We make all of our prayers through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace, whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we present here through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, a mighty and eternal God. Through Christ our Lord, for at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb, the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race, bound by one world, may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wonderful sacrament so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we with all the hosts of angels cry out with one end as we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy. Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts. Heaven, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When, when we, we eat this, this bread and <clears throat> drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Luke, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O 
God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, who take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Once again, before we close today, we thank the Tribune family and Len and Helen for all of their help with the Mass today. This week, in the Archdiocese of Toronto, Cardinal Collins has released a letter regarding the Indigenous schools and the whole situation there. There's also a bunch of things on the website as well about questions about it and what happened and the history and all kinds of things related to it. So go to the Archdiocesan website. There's also a beautiful letter for the upcoming Feast of the Sacred Heart of Jesus by the Cardinal as well with some spiritual reflections that you can do at home during the feast coming up and some novenas as well. We hope all of you have a great day. God bless and let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.